Hello, I'm Owen Fuja Felix and today I'll be taking you on number base and the types of number base system. Now, what is number base? Number base refers to the number in which one count will determine the highest digit. Now, we have a number base that have people count in tens, that is 0, 1, 2, 3, through to 9, the highest number is 9. This is called the decimal system or base 10. It is also known as denary. Now, we have examples of numbers in different base. That's 11001 in base 2, 374 in base 8, and so on. A computer or any digital system works in a binary manner. The main number systems used in digital hardware are as follow. The binary system. The binary system, also called base 2, has just two states, usually called on and off, or 1 and 0. The reason why this system is so important is that it is the simplest system to implement in practice using electronics technology available today. Now, it is important to indicate the base of the number being used. If no such bit is indicated, then it is assumed that the base 10 is being applied. Conversion between decimal and binary system. Decimal to binary conversion is performed by chain division using the mode and div commands. Now, the mode is the command that represents modulus, where you divide and get the remainder, and the div command represents the divide, where you use what you use to divide. Now, we have an example. Let's convert 58 to binary together. Now, what we first do is we divide, since we are converting to binary, we divide with 2. Now, 58 divided by 2, we have 29, remainder is 0. 29 divided by 2, we have 14, the remainder is 1. 14 divided by 2, we get 7, the remainder is 0. 7 divided by 2, we get 3, the remainder is 1. We continue like that, 10, you're done. Now, picking the remainder from bottom to top, we get 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0. Therefore, 58 converted to its binary equivalent is 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, base 2. Don't forget to add the base there. Now, conversion between binary to decimal is, sim is fairly simple. As long as you remember that each digit in the binary number represents a power of 2. Now, we have another example. First thing we do to convert this binary number to its decimal equivalent is we list the digits in order and count them off from right starting with zero. The first number takes eight, the second takes seven, the third takes six like that till you get to the last which will take zero. It always have to go in that pattern. Then you multiply one times two raised to power eight plus the next number 0 times 2 raised to power 7 then the next number 1 times 2 continue like that and then you calculate to get your final answer now we move to the octal octal is base 8 number system in octal we have 8 digits 0 1 2 3 through to 7 the highest number here is 7 conversion of decimal to octal would be carried out the same way as the conversion of decimal to binary numbers now we have an example here. Let's convert 40 to octal. We simply apply the same procedure as the decimal to binary conversion, but here we use 8 to divide. Now 40 divided by 8, we get 5. The remainder is 0. 5 divided by 8, it can't go. That's 0. The remainder is 5. Now picking the remainder the same way from bottom to the top, we get 5 and 0. So the answer is 5, 0, base 8. Hexadecimal. Hexadecimal is base 16. That is, there are 16 different symbols being used. They are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and from 9 we move to A, B, C, D, E, F. We have a representation of it, the number and, the, and, its, and its equivalent in base 10. So 10 is simply A. 1 is B, 2 represents C, 3 D, 4 E, and 5 F. 
Conversion of decimal to hexadecimal and vice versa will be carried out the same way as binary number. Now we have an example. To convert 759 to its hexadecimal equivalent, we apply the same procedure as the decimal to binary conversion, but here we use 16 to divide. Just take note, if you're converting from decimal to any other base, you use the base you are planning on converting to, to divide. Now, 7... 59 divided by 16 we get 47 the remainder is 7 47 divided by 16 we get 2 the remainder is 15 and we know that 15 in hexadecimal is represented by f 2 divided by 16 we get 0 the remainder 2 now picking the remainder from bottom to the top as usual we get 2 f 7 so the answer is 2 f 7 in base 16 now what we've learned in summary is all computers operate using a binary system the binary system we talked about the decimal system we talked about octal system hexadecimal system conversion from decimal to any other base can be achieved using the repeated division method now this is an assignment for you to use and practice on your own i would really like to admonish us to take time and practice this so that we could be sure that we've actually learned something from this session thank you and have a nice day Thank you.